have to say, Indian food is probably my most favorite food in the entire world. Today I have my friend Nita coming over for lunch. She's an international fitness star, so it's important to cook something that's light and healthy. She's also bringing her two kids with her. I'm really hoping they like the Indian fish curry that I'm making for lunch. And if they don't, then they can just drink the mango lassi I'm making up instead. We totally went crazy on this culinary adventure. We got so many different types of spices, I don't even know where to get. Spice blend for cooking fish. We got one for doing butter chicken. And we got one for doing tandoori chicken, which is like the one that's the yogurt sauce. Oh, that's like one of my favorites. Oh, and we got some yeast, which is like clarified butter. I got some incense. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? For this recipe, I'm just going to use a basic white fish like tilapia. I love using white fish for recipes like this because it has a really mild flavor. Today we're going to be using the masala curry that we bought at the Indian store. But if you can't find it, you can just use any like garam masala or other type of Indian curry that you find in the stores. I have a pan over here that started to heat. I'm going to put a little ghee that basically it's a clarified butter. If you don't have it, feel free to use regular butter or olive oil. Now I'm just going to put the fish in there. I'm going to put a little extra sprinkle of the powder on there just for good measure. Tilapia cooks really fast, so I'm only going to do it for about a minute or two on each side. I hope they get here soon because I am ready to eat. This is looking brown on each side. Get it out of the pan. Now in the pan, I have all these crispy little fish bits plus roasted curry powder. So I'm gonna add some tomato sauce and some plain yogurt. I need to get a good scraping spoon because I got a lot of scraper to do. So now I'm gonna just scrape off all the stuff from the bottom and incorporate it into the yogurt and the tomato sauce. I'm gonna add some fresh chopped cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, you can also use mint. That looks good. So now I'm just going to add the fish back into it. I want it to cook for just a few minutes with the tomato sauce so everything can just blend together well. Get those little extra spices. I think that looks good. I'm going to let it sit in the pan for a few minutes with the heat off just so it stays warm while I'm finishing up everything else. I'm going to make my mango lassi, but I'm going to get the table set before they get here. absolutely love going to these little hole-in-the-wall ethnic grocery stores because they're family-owned. They were so nice and to get this personalized type of service that they would actually spend time to explain the ingredients to us and just educate me on their cuisine. I'm really excited. That was a fun culinary adventure. Nita and the girls just arrived so I'm glad I got ready in time. Luckily lunch was really easy to prepare. Basically, you make your favorite rice, either brown or white, and then just add a few cinnamon sticks to it while it's cooking. And now I'm gonna serve the fish curry masala that I made. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Let me just get a little bit of this extra sauce on there. And now for garnish, I'm just gonna put a little bit of lettuce and some fresh sliced mangoes. And now lunch is served. You're a busy mom of three busy kids, so recipes like this are definitely essential. If it only took 10 minutes, then I need to, I need to know how to do this. This is amazing. Your mom told me that you guys like everything. So. I do. I'm not picky. This one is a little bit, but... Well, her plate's almost finished, actually, so... <laughs> yeah, this is the one that claims not to like fish, by the way. Look at her fish is gone. <laughs> oh, I came out awesome. Thank you so much for having us over. You're welcome. For this recipe and more from the program, check out our website, www.culinaryadventureswithmariko.com. Enjoy.